Hello, I am Tanya Pinsumaya. ID is 191-15-12129. Today we are going to share our knowledge about technology and its impact, good or bad, on our life. Here is important information of our respected teacher Tasmiri Mahfuz and our team members. Technology is the set of knowledge, skills, experience, and techniques through which human change, transform, and use our environment in order to create tools, machines, products, and services that meet our needs and desires. We can see that in 1960 century to 1970 century had a little impact of technology. Before, our technology didn't have much impact. We did everything manually or analog system, but now we are always using digital system. Our use of technology has changed over time. People are trying to invent new things as their demand is increasing day by day. And that's why we have this digital technology today. We used to work a lot to get from one place to another, but now we can go by car. It's also a technology. We started using a various of social media, which became very popular in 20th century, like as Facebook, WhatsApp, in Emo, Twitter, YouTube, etc. In 2020, technology becomes fully integrated into our daily lives. Every moment we use technology. We can't think any single moment without technology. We already know what is technology. But do we know how many types are there in technology? Actually, we are living in the era of technology. Wherever we go, we have to use different kinds of technology. For example, now I am talking by using a device, which is a part of technology, right? Hello, I am Sumaya Prashami, IU191151279. So, let's start with the types of technology. So, there are lots of technology we use in our daily lives, such as information technology, networks, robotics, artificial intelligence, medical technology, space technology, assistive technology, and so on. All of them are huge sectors, so this is not possible to describe them within one or two sentences. And here we are familiar with information technology, right? Which is the study or use of systems, especially computers or te telecommunication for storing, retrieving and sending information. Then we know about robot, which helps us to complete our work more perfectly than human, right? In our country, we have not so much implementation of this technology, but in other countries, robots are used in various sectors such as medical services, office works, restaurants, etc. Then, we have many technology which entertain us in our daily life, such as television. In this era, it is very difficult to find a person or family who have no television. Then, online game platforms, YouTube, different social media, virtual reality, all of them are entertaining us. So, now technology for communication. If we think about 20 or 30 years ago, we had to communicate with each other by writing letter. And this is a very long term process. But now, we can communicate with each other within few seconds. Not only that, we can communicate with each other without thinking about the distance. What a blessing of technology is this. Now, we don't need to wait for anything. If I want to see my relatives, just connect my device with internet and click on the video call and then I can see them. I can talk with them. Wow, what a blessing. Here, you can see a graphical representation of the percentage of using social media. We can see that 45% people using YouTube, 46% people using Twitter, 60% using Instagram, 63% using Snapchat, and the most familiar and popular social media, Facebook, which is 74%. But these all communication medium are used for basically informal communication. For formal communication, we have email, which is widely used all over the world. Now, 
education. I think I don't need to explain this elaborately because in this pandemic situation, each and every student all over the world is facing the use of technology. Without this, they cannot think about anything. For the purpose of technology, we can use our time in this pandemic properly because our education system is not being stopped and it is running same as before we did in our physical classes. And for this, now we know how to join online classes, how to create an online meeting. We are learning to use different software for our better education. We don't need to buy books from outside. We can download PDF of the book through internet, which saves our money. Now, we don't need to depend on others for any information because we have everything on Google. Just we have to search it, nothing else. So, technology erases our many problems of all kinds of platforms. Assalamu alaikum. I am MD Shua Goshen, ID 191-15671. My topic is uh, technology in uh, health and work sector. Technology in health. We all know technology plays a vital role in our health. It makes a huge difference in our treatment system. Now we have uh, X-ray, MRI, uh, CT scan that we can easily scan someone's whole body. Uh, we can easily identify any disease and can uh, treatment to it. Uh, we ensure uh, a better life expectancy and it uh, helps us to researching uh, for new or better medicine to be invented. Now we are capable to fight any uh, global pandemic just like we are fighting COVID-19. Uh, technology in work sector. Technology gives us many things like smartphones, laptops, computers, internet and so on. We can easily use them to develop our skill. Like we have internet, we can uh, search anything on Google. Uh, we can uh, watch uh, any kind of videos to develop our skill on YouTube, Dailymotion, and so on. We have uh, many platforms like uh, Fiverr, Upworks, uh, that help us to work. Uh, and earn from our bedroom like i do work with uh, foreigner um, clients uh, we can um, fix our meeting on zoom uh, then meet in any way then we can uh, fix uh, we can uh, complete our project and submit them uh, using cloud google drive they paid us by their master course and we get our uh, payment from home like i do work sitting on my bedroom now we have a database cloud to store uh, information easily and we can collaborate them in a second so technology is uh, so important for our working life and daily life also i am and the woman for it now i discuss about negative impact of technology impact on communication. Technology has given us the luxury communicating with people throughout the digital world rather than face to face. However, abusing technology use can negatively affect our communication skill and make it difficult to communicate beyond our technical device. Less interaction, more distraction is occurred due to online communication and we cannot express our emotion properly. For that reason, sometimes misunderstanding occurred and sometimes we contact with people without knowing about him. We just look over his profile and start communication may occur bad impact on our life. Impact on education. The internet has become a great tool for learning, yet tech involvement doesn't always guarantee the quality of education. Children sometimes overuse technology in the classroom which obviously affects the learning process in a negative way and cheating has increased while analysis, critical thinking have declined. This puts young generation thinking abilities in jeopardy. Various studies claim that the more students use entertainment technologies like games or social media, 
the less they perform academically. The reason for it, the distraction caused by games, masses and videos. Technology is a blessing for all humans, but it can be a curse too. I'm Shoshal Dash, ID 191-1512381. I'm with you to share some interesting knowledge. A research shows that an average person look at their phone 150 times or more per day by frequently using smartphone, computer, television can cause eye strain, which is also called computer vision syndrome. So it is not only damaging our eye, but also create depression and anxiety on our mind. Technology makes us so lazy. We are really dependent on technology. That's why it's reducing our physical activities. In the health treatment, technology brings us lots of blessing things, but a little mistake can cause incorrect report of diagnosis. That's why it can cause death of the patient. A US report shown us that robot automation will take 800 million jobs by 2030. So it will make an enormous change in our life. Many people will lose their jobs. We all stored personal and company data in the internet. So it can also cause a data theft by a hacker. Nowadays, people always take help from technology. Sometimes it's not needed. So by this, they are damaging their productivity and also creativity. Here is a brief presentation of today's technology. We can see in 2020, there are 4 trillion revenue opportunity. And we have already 50 trillion GBs of data. Can you imagine that? And also 4 billion people connected with each other. What? Where we had to wait day after day to connect with one person. But now, wow, it's amazing. We have also 25 plus billion embedded and intelligent systems which are helping us to develop our technology. We also made 25 plus million applications for our daily users. Now, I have a big question to all of you. Technology shapes us or we shape technology? Actually, we are updating our technology and making our device smarter and faster. But what about us? We are making well-shaped smart devices. Are we well-shaped? We are being lazy. That's why we are losing our shapes and we are really dominated by our technology. That is so bad. So now, choice is yours. Will you use it for good or bad? Here is the references from where we gather knowledge about technology and its impact. Thank you.